What is up guys? Today, listen, I messed up. I gotta apologize because in my last epoxy pins video, <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but I forgot my most popular video and a lot of you were disappointed. Well, three of you that mentioned it. I'm not gonna call any names, but I don't know how I missed that. Like my most popular video with over 500,000 views, I didn't even make a pin for it, but I'm gonna make up for that today. We're gonna start with the actual color scheme of that video, the mermaid, the not flamingo, stop, raspberry, and then the purple, whatever it's called, I don't know. Then we're gonna take this wheel right there, we're gonna do nine more, and we're gonna spin the wheel to figure out what three color options those are gonna be, and that should be fun. I guess. Because last time it turned out pretty good. Paisley liked it. I don't know. Huh? Whatever. So let's get started. All right. For our first one, you know, we don't have to spin the wheel for this one because we know it's going to be the pink, teal, and purple. Or, you know, the amethyst, the mermaid, and the raz... Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Get <coughs> out of here. We know better than that. What'd you do with raspberry? There he is. Get over, get out of the way. Raspberry. Okay. Glad we got that straight. And for this challenge, I have five different paintbrushes. And what I've did is I've created a little color chart over here so I can keep the brushes separated, keep from having to wash them out. This is going to be the purples. This one is going to be the blues and teals. This one is, what is that? pinks and reds and the greens and the yellows. All right, so the first color we're gonna do is the raspberry. So we'll just swirl it around like we do any tumbler or anything like that. Just do it, to, well, that's kind of hard to, this thing's all bouncy. So get it wrapped all the way around. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. These are pins. And this is good practice. If you have an idea of something that you'd like to do on a tumbler, why not just practice on a pin? Don't forget the end here. We gotta give that some love. And then we'll go back over it and put the little pebblies. I guess it'll work, we'll see. This pin is a lot rougher to start with. I guess I could have sanded it smoother. And if you really wanna get picky, you can epoxy it and then do it. I'm not doing that. That's ridiculous. Listen, this is supposed to be fun. Don't make it complicated, you know what I'm saying? Just have fun with it, there we go. Now we'll do some little pebbles here and there. Do another dip over here in your color, and then dot, 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 and it'll pebble it up. All right, so we get that layer to your liking, and then we proceed with the next color, which is the mermaid. <laughs> Remember, just get it close. Don't touch on on the no 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 no. Don't touch it on the pink yet. Okay, that's pretty. Let's get it close. <whistles> Work your way all around and then we'll come right back. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. What we got going on? It's not gonna be. I mean, look how tiny it is. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be just like a tumbler. It's close enough, bro. So I've got my line going pretty good now. Because this edge, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of ratty. I'm gonna use that to make the pebbling on the parts where it touches, like barely touch it. Boom, 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 boom. Can you see that? Barely wiggle it, lightly touch it, wiggle, dab, wiggle and a dab. You remember that from the video? So just wiggle it, dab it. And you can use the pink also if you want to. Let's see what that looks like. So you can just do it here too. Wiggle, dab, wiggle, dab, wiggle, dab, wiggle, dab. You ain't focusing. Wiggle and dab and do it over here. I think that works better because of the small area. I'd rather get rid of more of the blue teal than the pink so oh that's pretty look at that look at that that is beautiful all right you see that i like look how that's coming together and it's looking shaky look at that where it comes together that's beautiful so next we're going to do that all the way around to the bottom then we're going to start with our purple and then that'll be done so fast so easy now it's time for our purple which we have our purple paintbrush with the p for purple and then do a fill it in in between there. I mean, it's not, come on. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. But you got it. Keep working. Get it how you're happy. Or, well, does that make sense? Yeah, sure. All right, just play with it till you're happy. And wow, I am super surprised how much like the tumbler that looks like. That's insane. I love it. So we'll let this dry. We'll ch -ch -ch seal it with our Rustoleum Mate Clear. Uh, if you don't know how to use this, as usual. <laughs> Click the link in the card and watch it, and I'll show you all about it. Everything you ever wanted to know about the Mate Cleary. Okay, all right. Okay, for our next portion, we are going to use the magical wheel. I have all my colors separated. We have red, orange, yellow, green, kind of like a teal, turquoise, 
blue. Apparently I have a lot of blue. I don't know why. Purple and then pinks. And I've written some colors down on this board here. Everything's pretty much the color it's on except for pink. There's a pink we're in a red. And then uh, I went ahead for you guys and added this one right here. Flamenco. He's got his own one, so he has a fair chance. Listen, this guy's had the bad end of the deal, so I'm gonna give him a chance to redeem himself, and he has his own color. And then, of course, we have gold, which I have right here, which is beautiful. Everybody likes gold. I've never done gold with the... Uh, well, actually, I've only done two versions of the three color Easiest, most beautiful alcohol ink. I showed you the first video earlier, and here's the uh, second one where me and Paisley spun the wheel. We got black, uh, teal, and lilac or something. I don't even remember. But anyway, without further ado, I've went ahead and prepared the rest of the pins. They're all white and ready to go. They're looking boring, looking like, please add some color to me. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, and for our first color, we are going to get green. Second color. Oh my gosh. Seriously, the second one I spin is gonna be flamenco. Green and flamenco. That's gonna be beautiful, sure. Third color. Uh, orange. What? Whose idea was this? My goodness. Green, orange, and flamenco. You will never leave me alone, will you? Oof. So let's see what that looks like. There we go. Green, flamenco and orange. On to the next one. For the next one, the first color is, give it a good spin this time, red. See, well, it's kind of pointing there. I'm gonna call that red. Second color, blue. Okay, going a little patriotic here maybe. I don't have white on here. Should I put white? I don't know. White's not a color. We've had this discussion before, people. Comment if you think white's a color. White, to me, if I see a white car riding around, I'm thinking, that guy needs some color. I don't know. Whatever. It's just the artist in me. Third color. That was a crappy uh, pink. Okay, good. I almost got flamingo again. Jeez. Not really sure how these pins colors. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now I didn't think this one was going to turn out too good, but what? Who'd have thought? Red, green, and pink. That pink is hot. And look where the pink and the blue came together. It's kind of purpley bluey. I, ah, I think this is a winner. Next. Third pin. Let's go. Oh, almost got green. We got yellow. All right. Second color. Teal. Ooh, that would be nice. Yellow and teal go great together. All right. Third color. No, gosh. What happened? Yellow again? Can we have yellow again? I don't know if that's fair. Is that fair? Look at that. What happened? You broke my dang board, man. What's wrong with you? Uh, I already spun yellow again. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick the other yellow. We're going to go ahead and do gold with that one. Hey, I didn't cheat. Hey, comment below if you think that's cheating. Let's just keep going. Now, this one right here, the yellow, teal, and gold. Wow. And by the way, I'm going to show you guys what all these look like after epoxy at the end of the video. But look at that gold. That's that's springtime right there. That's, that's nice. That's pretty. With all this nice weather we have lately, this is a good one. The next pin is going to be first color, number one. Yellow. What? How many? How many times I'm gonna get yellow? Like I'm. I'm. Okay. Second color. Don't do yellow. Oh my gosh! What is wrong with you? We're not doing that. No. 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 I'm not counting this spin. I'm just gonna do it again. Don't do yellow again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you. Sheesh. What in the world? Yellow and green. Next. Third color. No. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Yellow, green, and orange is gonna be hideous. I don't know. Comment. Oh, let's just keep going. Whoa, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That looks nice. Look at the pebbling on the orange. The orange does really good. Yellows, you can't really do any pebbling on that. I don't know, I couldn't get it to look. I'm, I'm happy with the way it looks. That's good. It's a nice little bright green into the yellow to the orange. Yeah, winner. It's a good choice. The next color is, I mean the next pin. Color number one. Purple, finally, we got a purple. Thank you, purple's pretty. Second color, let's go. Give me something pretty. Green, oh my gosh. Green and purple, whatever. Color number three. No, 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 stop landing on the same color. No, I'm not counting that. <sighs> Maybe I should have counted it. Okay, okay, oh my gosh. Is this cheating? I'm gonna go back to purple. I'm gonna erase that last spin, because you know what, I got, I'm gonna do a light purple and a dark purple. 
Okay, okay. So technically I'm not cheating. I was cheating when I spun for the red. So now I'm going back to my purple. Okay, you gotta make these things look halfway deep. Come on, people. Quit giving me the, I can't even hear you, so let's go. Okay, now this one reminds me, it looks like it needs an Incredible Hulk or something right there. I got the purple, the green, and the light purple. Nice pebbling going on there. The dark purple I picked was pretty dark, so I had to use a little bit of alcohol in, into the cup and then dot so that, like I did on the black one in the easiest, more beautiful alcohol ink tumbler. Check that out. That's pretty good. I'm liking that. Next, the next pin. Six. Uh, gold. Ooh, I love gold. I didn't even have to cheat to get that one. Here we go. Blue. Ooh, gold and blue. I'm liking this already. Don't give me something ridiculous. Color number three. Okay. I guess that'll be fine. Here's what it looks like. God bless America. Yeah, that looks like some star-spangled pinage right there. I really like the way those swirl around. I decided to do gold in the middle of both of them, which was nice. Got some bleeding together, which I'm I'm really cool with the way that looks. I really dig that. Salute. Hit that thumbs up if you like America. Let's go. Pin number seven. Here we go. What do we got? Yeller. Yeller, yahoo! Color number two. Green. Have I had this before already? I don't know. This third color lands on orange again. I'm not taking it. I'm not accepting that. We've already had one of those. Purple. Oh, okay. I think that might work. Yellow, green, and purple. It looks like this. Alrighty. Another Incredible Hulk looking one for some reason. I don't know what's popular with that. What's the deal with all that? That's not bad. It's looking good. I really like the peplin. The green does good with the peplin. So yeah, Incredible Hulk again, but he doesn't have a yellow. So whatever, just keep rolling. Pin number eight. Uh, I'm beginning to think this is a bad idea. Teal. Color number two. Yeah, something pretty. Teal and blue. Okay, it's kind of close, but we're going, okay, fine. And color number three. Gonna be something crazy. Red? Oh, what? Teal blue and red? That's gonna be horrible. Here we go. It looks like this. All right. This one, another America vibe. I guess anytime you put red and blue together, it kind of can't help but do America vibe. Yeah, even though I got teal in it too. The teal looks like it's just a faded edition of the blue. So yeah, salute this one too. Might as well. I, I can't, can't hate on America. No. Color. I mean, pen, whatever. Number nine. Last one. <sighs> okay, purple, color number two. Teal, purple and teal. And color number three. Burlu, burlu, burlu. Purple, teal, and blue. And it looks like this. Now, I really like this combination. The purple, teal, and blue kind of got an Easter vibe to it. You know what I mean? I really dig that. And this is the last one. So now we're going to see what they all look like with the beautiful epoxy and um, who knows, maybe some glitter. Let's go. All right, guys, before I show you how these look epoxy, I wanted to bring you here and show you this new contraption I got. Whoa, look at this smooth, straight turn it just got going on here. It's called the Pin Pal. Donna Crosby sent me these from Cuba Lake Crafts. It's a 3D printed, perfectly fits per your size of PVC you choose. Cool story behind this. She was making these pins and her son is autistic, but he loves figuring stuff out. And for Christmas, he got a 3D printer and she asked him, hey, do you think you can figure something out for me to mount my pins on my turner? And this is what he came up with, which is fantastic. Love supporting people like that. And she appreciates people like you that watch this channel and she wants to support you back by offering you not 10, but a 20% discount on her Etsy store. The link is right here. Link to our Etsy store. I'll put a link in the description too, but the discount code is Duncan20. Go get you one. You choose what size PVC option to fit on and you choose what number of pins you want. She has six, 12, and 22. I don't know why I'm doing one, two, three. So click the link in the description. Use discount code Duncan20. Pick whichever size you want. Then go grab your Alumalite quick coat and let's put some epoxy on these bad boys. 
in a quick way. 